What's up guys, welcome back to video number 5 in this series on making a connect the dots style game with JavaScript. Now in today's video we're actually going over our mouse event stuff, well just the mouse down event for now. So we can actually tell when we, the user actually clicks on a dot on the screen. So I have our JavaScript page open here and as you can see I added a new function called circle collision. And this function is does exactly what it says it does. It just finds whether or not two circles are colliding on the screen. We use that because what we'll do is we have our circle dots on the screen, obviously, but what we want to do is kind of also make a circle out of where we click. And you can actually adjust the sensitivity here. So if, for instance, it's really difficult to click on a circle because it's too small, you can always make its collision radius greater than it actually is. So the size could be small, but have its collision box be bigger. But we're going to get into that in the function that we're going to be writing for this video. So if we just jump down here, and I just gave myself some space here, we're going to write our next function, which is going to be our check for dots function, or just check for dot function. So in this case, what we're doing obviously on the screen is when the user actually clicks down on the mouse, we want to figure out whether or not they've clicked down on a dot. So what we're going to want to do is run through a loop of the dots to try and figure out whether or not it was actually on any of them. So what we'll do is we'll start with our usual variable i and we'll run through while i is less than our data dot dots dot length. And so what we'll do here is actually define a couple of variables. So first we'll do our dot or d variable again, which is actually to get the dot at the current index. And then we just want to set up our two circles here now. So we'll call one variable c1 and that'll be set equal to an object with an x property, a y property and an r property because that is what this circle collision needs. So see we have an X, a Y, and an R right here that it's using to calculate this. So what we'll do is we'll set the X property here to D.X, which is just the dot at the current iteration, and the Y will be the D.Y, and then our R will be, we'll just put in 10, because that's what we wrote right here. So 10 will be the radius. And then what we want to do is just define a C2 variable, and now this is for our touch. So what we need to do is we know for this we want to pass in an event where they actually click. So we're not actually calling that event yet, but what we can do is just put E here and just assume that E is going to give us a page X and page Y property. So what we'll do is we'll set the X to the E dot page X, the Y to the E dot page Y, and then we'll also just give this a radius of 10. And now all we wanna do is just check to see if those circles are colliding. So all we really have to do is just say if circle collision and then pass in our C1 and our C2 and if they are colliding, we'll just call an alert of they are colliding. So now we have this function written, but we're not actually calling it anywhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump up to our prep canvas function. And at the bottom here, we're just going to set the data dot canvas and we're going to add an event listener. And this event listener is going to be the mouse down event listener. And this will call a function here which will then call our check for dot function. And remember we talked about the event and now all the mouse events all take or all pass through an event property which holds properties like page X and page Y that we used right here. So all we have to do is just put in an E here and then pass that E through to our check for dots function. So now if we just jump over to our browser and refresh the page, if you click on the screen on the white space, nothing's gonna happen. But as soon as you get close to this dot, you'll see they are colliding. So now we get that collision there. If we click right on it, and then I'm clicking, I'm clicking, but then as soon as I get over to the dot, they are colliding. So you can go ahead and mess around with the sensitivity on that. Obviously, if I jump back into our code here and I change this number you know, to something 
ridiculous like a thousand if I go back in here and refresh now no matter where I click on the screen I'm going to have that alert because obviously you know we're dealing with a giant circle but I'm just gonna go ahead and change that back to our 10 so just to recap for this video we just added this check for dot function which basically just runs through our dots and then calls the circle collision function to check to see if that's colliding with where we're clicking. And then all we did was just add an event listener here for our mouse down, which then just calls our check for dot function. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video number five. Make sure to comment below with any suggestions you have for these videos and anything you wanna see in the future. Also make sure to like the video and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Peace.